how can you find the area of a rectangle if you know its perimeter? I'm Bon Crowder with Math4.com, coming to you from Terry Pro Graphics in beautiful Houston, Texas. Here we have three rectangles, all that have a perimeter of 28 inches. So the question is, if I know the perimeter, can I find the area? Well, it's clear that these areas, or the space in between, that's not the same on all of these. So we might not be able to pinpoint exactly what the area is, but we can determine some things about the area. So let's look. What we know about the perimeter is it's 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. It's twice one side plus twice the other side. Using a little bit of the magic of the distributive property, we can pull out the 2. And then we can divide by the 2. And for us, our perimeter was 28. So if we take 28 divided by 2, which is 14, we know that 14 is the sum of the two sides, the length and width. So let's look at these. Here's our rectangles again. This is a rectangle that's a square. This one's a little bit more irregular, and this is extremely irregular, if we can use that term. Notice this is 11 inches by 3 inches. 11 long, 3 inches high. 11 plus 3 is 14. And remember, we needed one side plus the other side to be 14, so that our total perimeter is 28 inches. When that's the case, our area is 33 square inches. This other rectangle, we have kind of squirrely numbers, 5.3 inches and 8.7 inches. That gives us an area of 46 square inches. And still, my perimeter is 28, because 5.3 plus 8.7 is that 14 magic number that we looked at. Now we go to this rectangle, which is also a square. 7 inches by 7 inches, when they add together, that gives us our magic number of 14. And the total area here, the space in between, is 49 square inches. This is the biggest area that we can get. So if we know the perimeter of a rectangle, we might not be able to tell for sure what the area is, but we can tell what the maximum area is. I'm Bon Crowder with Math4.com, reminding you that math is not a four-letter word.